Never before have I used my circular saw to cut through steel. But today is a new day, my friends. We're gonna use the Diablo seven and a quarter, 48 tooth metal stainless steel circular saw cutting blade. Can't wait to show you, let's get started. Sent over by the Home Depot Prospector Program. We got a couple different blades here. We're gonna take a look first at the seven and a quarter steel cutting blade. We're gonna cut through a few different things, including some steel bar. Went up and got some at the Home Depot just to slice and dice. I wanna see how smooth this thing is. I've never used a steel cutting blade on a circular saw before. Listen, I use them for wood, but this is changing the game for me here. I'll put a link in the description below for this blade. We're also going to take a look at this 12 inch monster. We're going to put it on the rigid. We're going to see what the 44 tooth general purpose blade can do through some pine. Now we're going to go out in the back. I got some steel here. We're really going to upset the neighbors. We're going to crank that saw on high and just start shooting sparks all over the place. We're going to start out with something hollow. It's about 16th of an inch because I'm scared. And then we'll move the cuts up from there. So let me show you what it looks like. And then I will make another cut and let you hear it. So I'm telling you. I've been making a lot of cuts with this. It goes through quick. It goes through smooth. And the best part about it is the steel is not hot afterwards because I'm not using an abrasive wheel. Check it out here. So that was oh so smooth. Multiple cuts. I'm telling you, it just zips through. Check it out. Awesome. I've never cut. And listen, I don't cut metal with circular sauce it's just not what i'm used to doing but as i mentioned times have changed now we're stepping it up here this is about as eh, a 16th of an inch we're gonna cut through this bar let's check it out now i'm a right-handed man and when i try to cut this with my left hand for the camera angle it's tough but i'll tell you it still goes through so quick so easy check out that cut it is oh so smooth don't have a lot of those burrs on the side of the steel either i'm telling you it is cool to the touch even after i was done cutting with it i could pick it up didn't have to worry about burning my hand so now we're going with one eighth of an inch thick this is some steel pipe let's cut it down get some of that plastic off there we'll cut through all of it at the same time let's go So smooth. All right, now I'm gonna let you hear it for yourself. Super awesome, super easy. I am curious, what are your thoughts on this blade? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. And let's do one more slow motion cut on this pipe because it doesn't get any better in slow motion. And again, close up of the cuts. I wonder if the manufacturers of chop saws are sitting there saying to themselves, oh, just because of how versatile it makes your circular saw. I mean, you can basically take this blade and of course there are, you know, restrictions when it comes to the size of what you can cut but it just really opens up a whole new world to you if you have a circular saw. Now, even though we've only been going through a few pieces of metal and I have used these blades before I actually shot the video, the teeth on them have stayed sharp, no issues with anything breaking. Now we're gonna switch it up. We're going to go to the Beastly 12 inch rigid miter saw and we are going to put on the new Diablo blade. This is the 44 tooth general purpose we went through some old pine here and we are using the TRZ smoothness scale. Yes, you can only see the smoothness scale on the TRZ channel and I will say this piece of wood is 85% smooth. We are looking for at least 95% smooth. Now we're gonna put the new Diablo 44 tooth. It is a general purpose, not for metal or wood only. We're gonna check it out. Two of the blades come in this package. I will also put a link in the description below. Yes, I know that this has more teeth than the first blade that we used, but it doesn't matter on the smoothest scale. 
no issues with this thing fitting on there. This is an older saw, it goes on perfectly. Now, as far as it goes with the RPM information and all that good stuff, I will put that in the description below for you. We actually brought this up to a 2x8. absolutely tell a difference on how easy that thing glides through the wood you know a new saw blade you know compared to a sharpened saw blade you can't beat it but I will give this 95% smooth now just to let you all know Diablo has nothing to do with this channel um, they don't sponsor us they don't do anything for us really um, which you know hey we reached out to them but that being said we use their blades on the channel just because i feel they're probably in my opinion the best out there and they're not that expensive i really really like this freaking metal cutting blade it just blasts through that steel like nothing at all you had those smooth edges i was blown away i could not believe that i was able to cut through steel with that saw now that being said if you like this video thumbs up smash the like button please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get more tool reviews being sent your way come say hi to us on the instagram page at tool review zone and check us out at toolreviewzone.com we'll be back with more videos soon